on banks, the difference between banks, credit unions, and things like that. And uh, somebody from the FDIC contacted me. Mm -hmm. They told me, you didn't know, you, you stopped making those videos. You don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. And I said to myself, how do you know I don't know what I'm talking about? You don't know me. You don't know what it is that I do all the day. You, I could be your counterpart somewhere in Texas somewhere. You wouldn't really know that. You know, you don't know what I do, you know? And so as I said earlier, one of my key, um, one of the things that I do in my current job at a bank is I analyze credit unions, <coughs> the financials of credit unions, banks, and mortgage companies. And I can tell you, black banks aren't out there. Mm -hmm. Who are your shareholders? Mm -hmm. We got one black bank, and I think it's one United Bank, and they have a minority uh, 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 um, delegation, which means that 51% of the board is black. Mm -hmm. Well, do we really care about what the board? The board members can be bought out by the shareholders. That don't necessarily mean that it's, oh, it's for us and by us. And now, by the way, have y'all seen any progress from it? I haven't. But I mean, hey, I mean, if you have, um, one United Bank, one United Bank, not Bank, but it's, um, it's that one, that big one. Remember when um, that came out, all the rappers put their money into it, all that. Uh, yeah, they got 650 million worth of revenue, and started in Boston, and got it in Miami. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Right. yeah. But see, that, and that's the thing, so the guy from the FDIC contacted me, and he said, um, this is not, you don't know what you're talking about. I said, yeah, I do know what I'm talking about. I reviewed the financials, over financials for about, I did this for six years I said, now, but I've been doing it for 12 years now, so I know what I'm talking about. One way we can, get, we can overcome and get to the financial part of it and the economic part of it is a credit union. And so what I propose that we do in this credit union is we share 5,000, we, we sell, not sell, but we propose 5,000 in share to the community. So that's 5,000 people. It may not even be, need to be 5,000 people depending on what the we should buy the shares. Right. So I propose 3,500 shares at 200 a share. 6% interest, 18 months. That's what I propose for, for the, for the uh, and it's not bad, it's not bad. It's a minimal interest, 6% interest. And what was the term? 18 months. Okay. Mm -hmm. I propose 1,500 shares at 10% interest. One more time. How many shares? Which one? Just now. The remaining. 1,500. Yeah. 10%. Mm -hmm. 15 months. So it's preferred and common, I think. I'm sorry. It's preferred shares and then common, common shares. They're common. Oh, okay. Everything will be common. Yes. Yeah, so we do have a, a category of shares that yield more. Yield more. Because uh, it yields more because of the initial investment. Now we can probably do some preferred shares and things like that, and some different incentives for those who um, contribute more. But this is just the basic. This gives us the one million capital that we need. So fifteen thousand, fifteen hundred shares would be cost at what value? Mm -hmm. Two hundred. Oh, oh no, no, five hundred. I'm sorry. Okay, you paid the I didn't say the share. So the fifteen hundred shares. Five hundred. Oh, five five hundred. I'm sorry, I didn't say that. Okay. The investment is 10%, 10 for 15, 15 months. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's the initial investment. There's a, um, my, my step back, I step Oh, yeah, in the UA. I got it with grants from the Treasury. Oh, okay. And I got all of those steps. So we need a minority development. Okay. Sure. Certainly. Sure. So it's, I mean, it's long, you know, it's long. It's long overdue. It's easy. It would be easy. It would be easy. If this power and this rule come together, just get the people together, it would be easy. What, what's wrong with the current black community that we have? Is that even considered or it wasn't considered? It wasn't, it wasn't a consideration because it's been around so long and it rendered it effective. It's very effective. Yeah. First of all, the, the board members are ancient, most of them. And, they're, and I hate to say that, but they're not, some of the uh, strategies that are used in banking and credit unions they're in particular, they're not using that diversification, which is what I propose in this plan right now. I mean, you have to be able to uh, 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 invest and know what to invest in. Would it be easier for us to take over an existing structure? Like, I know move out the old guard, move in the new guard, and have continuity, or build from scratch. I mean, I'm that just putting it out there. That would be polite. That would be polite to to go in and say, but not even polite. I, I think mean, just a, a, we're, we're talking strategy, mm -hmm. like the brother talking about the guy on the street. And, you know, we're gonna eventually filter our solutions down to our people. That's the purpose. That's and I wanted to mention something too. 
uh, along these lines. But I mean, just thinking strategically on having a black-owned effective institution that we can deposit our money into that can in turn give us mortgages, give us business loans, student loans, or whatever. I understand how it works. But the question I'm proposing is, should we take a strategy of a merger acquisition, right, an M&A, because we do already have a credit union. We understand the leadership is not effective. It may, with new leadership, it could be a revitalized institution, or do we start from the very beginning and build? You know, so, um, that's, so I think that's the question I'm putting out there. Yeah, and that could be, that could be, uh, that could be revisited. I mean, I, I certainly would be opposed to it. It would be, and it would be, when I mean polite, I mean it would be, uh, it would be, you, you, we don't want anything to be divisive. You know what I'm right. saying? You don't want anything to put in, <laughs> it has, oh, it has to be unified. Yeah, you just don't want, I just don't want to so say you're just saying, okay. But, but, here's, but, here's the, but, but here's the thing, it is, uh, uh, um, credit unions and banks have um, real debt, realized debt, and we don't know what that is because they're not disclosed on that. Okay. I could do some research on it and pull a call report to see, but that still might not be to the depth of it because there could be some things from the uh, uh, internally, for instance, some credit unions get grants to run some programs, and we right. just don't know all of those aesthetics. So that's why I'm saying that for start fresh and new. But that could be. It, I think it's what we should look at, or we can start fresh and new, and we grow and take that over, and that become an well, expansion of no, what we have. I mean, I just point. want to think Talk about what we have and what we're trying to build, and just look at it in a holistic point of view. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I think that's realistic. I mean, I, I grew up, uh, my parents were members of Mount Sinai Baptist Church. My father was one of the cornerstones of uh, uh, credit union at Mount Sinai Baptist Church. Old school. Uh, and James Haynes have been there for a very, very long time. But I 100% agree that uh, in terms of the change of leadership, there needs to be a change in the focus. Right. Faith United Credit Union was the only credit that they received New Market's tax credits seven years ago. <coughs> New Market's tax credits is what built everything in downtown. Yep. And we don't know about it, but that's the new yep. game in town. So yep. you have credit unions now that can do those types of things. Yeah. And they're not, they're not only on the cutting edge, but you're right. You know, and I'm talking about something that you when, when the Faith United Credit Union is downstairs and outside of that's what I'm talking. And it evolved from that to their separate location stuff. But certainly that's that's that could be, be an option. That could be an option. Yeah. And yeah, that could be something that we could we could all I think we all can agree on it. But that but that initial investment cap, you can't beat that. Right. You can't beat that plan that I just put together. You can't beat that. It has to get that's a that's a million dollars cold hard cash. Now what I propose that we do with that million dollars. 40%, 400000 we invest. Part of, part of the ways that banks and credit unions make money is fees, we know that. Right. But our credit unions aren't going to do that to our people. So one of the, three, one of the things that uh, that $400,000 would do would go into investment, and what that investment will, will do will mitigate our risk. And what I say, what I mean by mitigate risk is this. We have a lot of um, investors and those investors, GSE, Fannie Freddie, Jenny, mm -hmm. Amy Matt, all of those, mm 